Welcome to the latest edition of Clan TV, sponsored by Wellwood Communications. We're looking ahead to the match this weekend. It's Brayhead Clan taking on the Cardiff Devils. Here to talk about it, as you can see, is the head coach, Ryan Finnerty. Ryan, thanks for joining us. First question, still top of the league after two difficult victories over Belfast Giants and Hull Stingrays in the last week. Now, we saw the work rate the guys have put in to eke out those wins, but how much of it was down to luck? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I think there's an element of luck anytime you, you're successful in, in hockey, but um, going back to the Saturday game against Belfast, you know, I think we did it the hard way. You know, we didn't capitalize on, on our five on threes and, and that could have uh, could have made it a lot easier, but uh, Jonesy was big for us and, and held the fort and, you know, we, uh, we were able to, to scrape out what uh, was, was a big win against a very good hockey club. Now Wednesday's penalty shots went over the Stingray showed great character. I saw fans admit they thought defeat was imminent on social media, while Zach Fitzgerald, who I spoke to afterwards, said he kept the faith with the team. As those seconds ticked down until Neil Trim equalised, did you keep the faith, Ryan? Well, I've been in that situation a number of times now. I mean, we put 50 shots on goal. Um, you know, we, we didn't play a bad game. You know, Hall, Hall's goalie hit was... Hall's uh, goalie was incredible. He was incredible that night. He made some. He made some big saves and and uh, you know in second, third chances. He he was uh, shutting the door. So, you know, had we executed early on, it probably wouldn't have been such a tight game. But you got to give Hall credit. They uh, they defended well. Their goalie made some made some huge saves. And then, uh, you know, obviously we uh, we went for it with a minute forty, minute thirty six. We pulled the goalie and and put five forwards out there. And we knew we needed to get pucks and outnumber at the net. And, and that's what we did. Now, while the team has been top of the league, the focus has always been to, to stay there. But by the end of the weekend, you could be Gardner Conference champions. That's if Fife lose their two matches against uh, Dundee and Hull this weekend. In a way, has this almost crept up on you because of the way the focus has been on the league the whole season? Well, I think we've just kind of been focused on, on winning games and, and they go hand in hand. You know, if you're, if you're winning... Uh, you're winning most of your games. You're you're gonna you're gonna win. Uh, you know the the Gardner Conference and the and the league. So we're you know one takes care of the other. But no, it's uh, obviously it's getting towards the end now, and and people are starting to talk about it. But like I said, we haven't done anything yet, and, and there's still there's still points up for grabs that we need uh, desperately. You know to to achieve both uh, both goals. Go back to last weekend. You know, the team done the business on Saturday. You were able to enjoy Sunday off and keep an eye on the other results that were coming in. Can you describe how you felt on hearing that Nottingham had lost to Hull while Sheffield were beaten by Cardiff? I was surprised Nottingham lost to such an inferior conference team. But, uh, yeah, no, they, uh, they, yeah, obviously it was, it was a good Sunday for us. The results went our way, and it's always nice when you, you got your feet up on the couch and, and you're getting a little help all, all across the league. So um, Saturday games when you don't play Sunday are, are crucial. You know, they don't, come, they don't come very often, and you're able to leave everything on the table and, um, you know, you got a day of rest coming up the next one. So they're, you know, mentally they're they're great for the guys, and especially when you're at home and in front of our our fan base. Now, as we get into the final few weeks of the season, the expectations have grown because the wins have kept on coming, along with other results going the team's way too, as you alluded to just a second ago. There has this led to a feeling of perhaps any extra pressure on you? I don't think so. I think uh, you know the pressure we're we're putting on ourselves is is enough. You know, but we've been doing that since day one. We want to we want to play to to a certain level each night. Um, you know, the results don't uh, indicate how we played, but uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of pressure building around us. You know, but the internally here we're we're enjoying it and, and and staying in the moment. And like I said, we we're not a team that gets too high when we win and too low when we lose here. And, and I think that's been uh, that's been our. Um, that's been a huge help this year, you know, is, is our, our level of professionalism. No matter what's going on, we're, we're, we're trying to find ways to get better and, and making sure we're staying grounded when we are when we are playing well. Now, only the one game this weekend, Cardiff Devils come to Glasgow, and it's the second part of their triple header north of the border. They've been among the top five teams vying for the title. And when you look back on last season's problems that they suffered, are you surprised at how well they've done this year? Not really, no. I mean, they, you know, obviously they put the right building blocks in place. It starts off the ice and getting the right people and hockey guys in there, and, and they've done that. And, uh, <coughs> you know, they, uh, no, they put a good team on. Uh, good, good, you know, they put a good product on. They got a, they got, they're built very similar to us, you know. And uh, I think they may have started a bit slower, but they've, you know, the last, uh, last while they've, they've been right up there and, and beating teams and beating teams convincingly, you know. So you've got to be ready to go physically and, and mentally when you play them. 
Now, I read an interview with you earlier today with the Evening Times ahead of the game. Some interesting comments you made about the game looking ahead to it. One that leapt out for me was about both teams having, and I quote, not a lot of respect for each other, mm. highlighting the previous meeting between them. With that in mind, does this have the potential to be a really fiery affair tomorrow? Well, I mean, like I said, the, you know, we last game down there, a lot of things didn't uh, didn't go uh, the way of the hockey code, as, as we put it. And you know, but I mean, ultimately, we got we got bigger things on our mind. But we also have the personnel to make sure we deal with with what's happened. We're not a team that rolls over for anybody. And Cardiff like to play big and physical, and they do that against teams that have no toughness. Um, we, uh, we we hope they come in and, and play big and phys physical against us, as we feel we can match them physically uh, and and on the skill side. You know, and, and for us, when we're playing our best, we're playing physical and we're playing up, up tempo in your face. And like I said, this has been circled on the calendar for a while. You know, two months to the day, pretty much. And it was a uh, it was a gutsy effort we put down there. Came back, and a lot of things uh, a lot of things happened in that game. And you know, they uh, they. Uh, they, uh, I think we had a few suspensions right after that game, and they seemed to work harder after getting guys suspended. So there's no love loss. There's no respect either way. I, you know, we didn't we didn't get it from them, and we certainly aren't going to show it tomorrow. Now the recent penalties record uh, for Brayhead Clan has been really good. Not a lot of guys have been sitting out over the last month or so. Was this something you were keen to, to bring down? And, and how much do you think discipline could play a part in deciding the outcome of tomorrow's game? No, oh, this one's huge. You know, like I said, we're not going to showcase how tough we are by taking minor penalty after minor penalty. You know we're 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 smarter than that. In the last few while, you know, last little for as long as I can remember, I think we've been one of the most disciplined teams in the league. Uh, you know, you look at our, our guys who typically took a lot of penalties in the start of the year uh, have have really sharpened up and 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 have found a way to stay out of the box. But at the same time, we need to play with that edge. You know, that's why we are where we are, um, and, and we do play better with it. But it it has to be absolutely controlled and. Um, you know, like I said, we got two, we got five guys in the top 10, 11 in scoring. So anybody thinks that we're we're just a goon squad? We got a good mixture of depth, and, and we rely on everybody to to play to play their role. And you know, I'm I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I know our guys are looking forward to tomorrow, but by no means are we going to go out and and be undisciplined and, and cost us anything. Uh, cost us uh, two points. Good luck tomorrow, Ryan. Thank, Thank you. Thanks.